Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and this uh, video uh, I'm going to concentrate on correlation uh, analysis formula. Uh, a question that has been asked in, in many of my previous videos where I've demonstrated particular types of uh, correlation formulas and how to, how to, how to calculate them. Uh, there's been many questions in relation to the types of variables uh, and well, the, the scales of measurement associated with variables, and what is an, what are the appropriate correlation formula to use uh, under certain circumstances. So, in this particular video, uh, I'm going to look at four different types of variables, four different uh, let's say scales of measurements. Now, let's just keep in mind that typically in a in a standard stats book, typically uh, we would have uh, four scales of measurements. Uh, we have nominal uh, variables can be measured on nominal scale, ordinal ordinal, uh, interval, interval, and what's known as a ratio scale of measurement, variables that are measured on a, on a ratio scale. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to sort of apply or follow a, let's say, a, 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 a labeling system that's based off, I suppose, a classic text by Weary. Uh, so it's by Weary. Uh, I think the date of that text, I don't have the date offhand of that particular text, but it's, normally, it's called Contributions, Contributions uh, to Correlation, to Correlation, Correlation Analysis, Analysis. Uh, and in that particular text, he sort of subdivides nominal variables into two classes of variables. One where we have, uh, let's say, just two levels of measurements, uh, clear dichotomy uh, with respect to the variable. Uh, so I'm going to label them as dichotomies. Uh, and also in relation to nominal, where there's more than two levels of measurement uh, associated with the variable, and we're going to call them multicotomy. Yeah? So this is like D, this will be a D, and this is an M. And then ordinal variables. In weary, ordinal variables are called rank variables, so we're just going to call them rank here. Uh, and the interval and ratio variables are classified just as interval variables. So from our purposes, uh, interval just represents interval stroke ratio scaled variables that are measured, measured on an interval stroke ratio scale of measurement. Rank represents variables that are measured on an ordinal uh, scale of measurement. And the dichotomy along with the multicotomy, uh, I suppose, capture all variables that are measured on a nominal scale. But dichotomy means we're going to concentrate on subcategories of nominal variables, those that have just two levels of measurement associated with them. So they're binary, they're dichotomous. Uh, and then also the nominals that have more than two levels of measurements uh, but other than two, we're going to call them uh, multicotomy. Okay. Now, I'm going to. There's. You can see from this particular table, I have the same variables listed down uh, the first column as types of variable scales of measurements as well as across here. So the question now that we typically have is, okay, say if I have an interval and an interval scaled variable. Say if I have two variables, my x's and my y's. Uh, and both are measured on an interval stroke ratio scale of measurement. What is the appropriate correlation coefficient to use in that particular circumstance? So some of these are straightforward, and then some are a little bit more complicated and a little bit more obscure, and weary sort of clears up in relation to some of the more, uh, let's say, some of the more obscure correlations that aren't really, I suppose, widely available in my opinion. And you can't really chase them down on YouTube or, 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 or anywhere else online. But when it comes to an interval and an interval uh, variable, it's a typical Pearson correlation coefficient. So it's a typical Pearson that we're going to calculate. Uh, and it's typically labeled as R. Okay? What happens then when we have, let's say, when we have a, an ordinal variable uh, versus an ordinal variable? So we have two variables, our x's and our y's, and both are measured on an ordinal scale. So in that particular case, these are two ranked variables. And the natural formula to use in them particular case is what's known as the Spearman, the Spearman, Spearman uh, rank correlation coefficient. And we'll just call that, uh, I suppose, uh, from from a from the weary perspective, that would be labeled as R, capital R, capital R, to say that it's a correlation of a rank with a rank variable. But I suppose you probably have seen that as R subscript S to symbolize the Spearman rank correlation coefficient. Okay. Uh, then when we go to a variable that has that where both variables are measured, uh, let's say on a nominal scale. But with respect to both variables, there are more than two levels of measurement. The typical correlation coefficient to use is what's known as Kramer's, 
Kramer's Kramer's V um, correlation coefficient, and that can be labeled as that sometimes is labeled as uh, in the weary case that would be labeled as R M M for multicotomy with multicotomy, but typically that's just labeled as C for Kramer's for Kramer's uh, V. It's either labeled as C. Oh, sorry, it's labeled, it's labeled as V. So different labeling representing the same thing, depending on where you read. Okay? And then when it gets to a two variables that are measured with respect to uh, their nominal variables, uh, but the both variables are, let's say, their natural dichotomies. Okay. So for example, one variable might be a gender. That's a natural variable that has two levels of measurement, males and females, okay? And the other variable might be whether you flip a coin and you get heads or tails. That's a natural dichotomy, a natural binary variable, okay? In which case, the correlation coefficient, it's a lot of these correlation coefficients are actually modifications of the Pearson correlation coefficient. And if you read Weary, uh, it, it takes you on that particular journey, the way the Pearson correlation coefficient is modified under certain restrictions uh, to give you these particular these particular formula, but when you have two natural dichotomies, okay, well then the correlation coefficient is known as phi, okay, and the symbol that we use for that is the the Greek letter the Greek letter phi to indicate um, uh, phi. Uh, other, these are the typical correlations. Actually, well, I suppose the main correlation coefficient that we've probably seen is the Pearson or correlation coefficient. Uh, you might then have moved to the Spearman uh, rank correlation coefficient. And in some cases, you probably have seen the Kramer.